Hello students, uh, today after a long time I will be extending my physiology playlist. So discussing the thyroid gland, uh, which is the continuation of our endocrinology chapter. Thyroid gland is a very important gland. It's an endocrine gland located in the front of the neck, just below the Adam's apple. It has two lobes which are connected to isthmus. It affects almost all the organs of our body, uh, like uh, central nervous system, this cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, which we will discuss later in this uh, uh, lecture. So, first of all, uh, we would discuss the synthesis of the hormone, that is uh, thyroid hormone, which is secreted by this thyroid gland then the secretion, the regulation of this hormone and finally the actions it performs in our body. So let us start. The synthesis of thyroid hormone, um, it has the following steps. Number one is the thyroglobulin formation, then the iodide trapping, then oxidation of iodine into iodine, then organification of iodine, then coupling of MIT and DIT, and uh, finally the stimulation of thyroid cells by DSH and binding of T3 and T4. To discuss it in detail, uh, first of all I will show you a diagram of thyroid follicle. Thyroid follicle, these are present in the thyroid gland. These are the follicular epithelial cells of the follicle and in, inside uh, mm, uh, the follicle uh, thyroid follicle there is a lumen or follicular lumen or colloid the thyroglobulin formation that takes place in these follicular epithelial cells from the tyrosine uh, then the thyroid glo uh, thyroglobulin is packed and uh, into secretory vesicles and uh, excluded out into this lumen This is another image which shows the thyroid follicles. These are the thyroid follicular cells and this is the colloid or lumen. Thyroglobulin synthesized from tyrosine and the follicular cells are then extruded out into the lumen. The second step is the iodide trapping. The, it is through the sodium iodide iron core transport which is present in the thyroid follicular cells. The iodide is uh, actively transported into the thyroid follicular cells for further incorporation into the thyroid hormone. So this is the second step. Then the third step is the oxidation of iodide iron, uh, iodide iron into iodine. The iodine, it loses the electrons and it converts into iodine, um, which is the uh, active reactive form. And then in the next step, it is uh, organified by combination with tyrosine on thyroglobulin. So that step is uh, called, called as uh, organification of iodine. Organification is as uh, 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 under uh, shown like uh, this, um, like if uh, when the uh, iodine is uh, oxy, um, iodine loses electrons and converts into iodine, then it is organified um, by the combination with tyrosine on thyroglobulin. Uh, Iodine um, that reacts with the iodine, sorry, that reacts with the iodine and form the monoiodotyrosine MIT and diiodotyrosine DIT. Then finally, the uh, last step is the coupling of MIT and DIT, monoiodotyrosine and diiodotyrosine. They are attached to thyroglobulin, so two coupling reaction takes place when two molecules of diiodotyrosine combine they form thyroxine T4 
when one molecule of DIT combines with one molecule of MIT, it forms triiodothyronine T3. More T4 than T3 is synthesized, although T3 is more reactive form. Let us summarize now. The first step in the synthesis was the thyroglobulin formation in the thyroid follicular cells, epithelial cells, which was then extruded out into the lumen. Then the second step was the iodide trapping, uh, iodide and trapping in which the uh, through sodium iodide and co-transporter, which was present uh, in the follicular epithelial cells, the Iodide ion were uh, actively transported into these uh, follicular cells. The third step was the oxidation of iodide ion into iodine, which is the reactive form. Uh, the fourth step was the organification of iodine. Um, the iodine was then organified by the tyrosine residues with the thyroglobulin, and then the uh, Formation of MIT, monoiodotyrosine, and diiodotyrosine, that is the um, DIT uh, formation. And uh, finally, the coupling of MIT and DIT, when two molecules of DIT combine, they form uh, thyroxine T4. And when one molecule of DIT combines with one molecule of MIT, it forms T3 or triiodothyronine. Now let us see this image to uh, make it more clear for you. This is the uh, step one, which is the thyroglobulin formation inside the thyroid follicular cells from the tyrosine. Then the thyroglobulin after formation was extruded out into the lumen. This is the follicular lumen. So here, the uh, already shown here, it is written follicular lumen. So thyroglobulin uh, is now in the follicular lumen. Number st step two was the uh, iodide ion trapping, which was through sodium iodide and co-transporter, which is present uh, on the follicular uh, cells. Through this uh, transporter, iodide ion uh, was transported inside the follicular epithelial cells for further incorporation into the uh, these uh, steps. Thyroid hormones. And third step is the um, oxidation of uh, iodi iodide ion to iodine. This is the third step which is through the peroxidase enzyme. This is the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction. The fourth step is the organification of iodine. Um, organification of iodine uh, that is uh, the iodide, iodine it reacts with the thyroglobulin and it forms the MIT and DIT. MIT is the monoiodotyrosine and DIT is the diiodotyrosine and the same enzyme peroxidase enzyme is responsible for the this uh, reaction. Then there was the last reaction, um, number five, the coupling reaction. Um, to this reaction, the uh, if two molecules of DIT combine, it forms T4. And if one molecule of DIT combines with one molecule of MIT, it forms T3. More T4 is formed as compared to T3, but T3 is the most reactive form of the uh, thyroid hormone. These were the steps involved in the synthesis. And now the sixth step, which is the endocytosis shown here, or this iodinated thyroglobulin that uh, is stored in the this follicular lumen, lumen until the thyroid gland is stimulated to excrete thyroid hormone. When the uh, stimulation comes or when the thyroid cells are stimulated, iodinated, thyroglobulin is taken back into the follicular lumen. That process is known as endocytosis. But um, these five steps, uh, these are involved in the synthesis of thyroid hormone, while this step is involved when 
the thyroid hormone uh, thyroid gland is stimulated the cells are stimulated which takes back the thyroglobulin adenated thyroglobulin inside the follicular cells this process is through endocytosis then the seventh step that the lysosomal enzymes that digest the thyroglobulin right and releasing the t4 and t3 into the circulation the leftover mit and dit these are deiodinated by thyroid deiodinase enzyme um, the iodine that is released is reutilized to synthesize more thyroid hormone right it is uh, utilized to synthesize more thyroid hormone therefore when there is deficiency of thyroid deiodinase it mimics the uh, deficiency of iodine because there is no recycling or reutilization of iodine then so these are the steps involved in the synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormone now the binding of t3 and t4 when the t3 and t4 are released in the circulation um, most of the t3 and t4 is bound to thyroxine binding globulin which is tbg or as already discussed t3 is the more reactive form of t4 so in the peripheral tissues the t4 is converted into t3 um through the um, um uh, enzyme 5 iodinase through this enzyme t4 is converted into t3 let us see, summarize all the steps number 1 is the thyroglobulin formation from the tyrosine residues within the thyroid follicular cells then the um Uh, extruding out the thyroglobulin into the lumen second step was the iodine trapping third step was the uh, conversion or the uh, oxidation of uh, to of iodine to iodine then the organification to form the dmit and dit coupling reaction uh, and then the uh, iodinated thyroglobulin to stay in the lumen till the uh, uh, stimulation of thyroid gland cells when the cells are stimulated these are taken back into the follicular cells to endocytosis then the lysosomal enzyme digests the thyroglobulin releasing the t4 and t3 into the circulation t3 is the more reactive form of t4 so in the peripheral tissues the t4 is converted into t3 through five iodinase enzyme now the next part is the regulation of thyroid hormone secretion once the hormone is synthesized and secreted now we are discussing the regulation of how this thyroid hormone is regulated its secretion is regulated it is regulated um, through hypothalamic pituitary control or uh, these are the steps shown in the diagram hypothalamus it secretes trh which is thyrotropin releasing hormone this hormone acts on the anterior pituitary gland of the uh, pituitary gland um, that then causes the release of tsh which is a thyroid stimulating hormone that thyroid stimulating hormone it is the major regulatory step which then acts on the thyroid gland thyroid gland it then secretes t4 and t3 T4 in the target tissue is converted into T3. Uh, T3 is the uh, main um, uh, factor that down regulates the TRH receptors to stop uh, or to inhibit TSH release. When the TSH release is inhibited, it cannot act on the uh, thyroid gland. and there is no release of uh, t4 and t3 and further these actions so t3 it acts uh, on the anterior pituitary gland this is the negative feedback mechanism which then inhibits the tsh release so the regulation is as hypothalamus releases trh it acts on the anterior pituitary causes the release of tsh which then acts on the thyroid gland and it really uh, uh, secretes t4 and t3 the t3 when the level is increased 
um, then it acts through the negative negative feedback mechanism on the interior pituitary and tells it that there is no further uh, need of uh, thyroid hormone so stop releasing the thyroid stimulating hormone it then stops the release and the further steps are inhibited the, through this mechanism uh, the thyroid hormone secretion is regulated T3 is three to four times more potent than T4 and in the target tissues T4 is converted to T3 as I have already discussed. Now the actions of the thyroid hormones, it almost affects all the systems of our body. Number one, the very important is the growth. Uh, the main adult stage, um, the, it is required um, through this thyroid hormone. It has a role in its uh, in the growth then the thyroid hormone it acts synergistically with the uh, growth hormone uh, and somatomedins to promote bone formation thyroid hormone it also stimulates bone maturation as a result of ossification and fusion of the growth plates in thyroid hormone deficiency bone age is less than the chronological age because the bone maturation process is decreased then the second step, uh, second action is the effect on the central nervous system. That is in the perinatal period, it um, uh, affects the maturation of uh, CNS. So in case of thyroid hormone deficiency, there is an irreversible mental retardation because its role is in the maturation of central nervous system. And in the deficiency of the thyroid hormone, there would be no maturation of the uh, nervous system um, because there is a very brief perinatal period so when thyroid hormone replacement therapy is helpful uh, screening for neonatal hypothyroidism is mandatory then in the adulthood uh, hyper excitability and irritability in case of hyperthyroidism while listlessness somnolence slowed speech impaired memory and decreased mental capacity in case of hypothyroidism the effects of thyroid hormone in case of hyperthyroidism it causes these uh, um, things like hyper excitability and irritability and in case of hypothyroidism these are the effects number three is the autonomic nervous system it has the same actions as the sympathetic nervous system because it upregulates beta uh, one adrenergic receptors in the heart therefore a very useful adjunct therapy for hypothyroidism in treatment of beta adrenergic blocking agents such as propranolol all you know that propranolol is used in the treatment of hyperthyroidism so mechanism is as it is uh, like blocks the beta adrenergic receptors in the heart fourth one is the basal metabolic rate it increases the oxygen consumption and basal metabolic rate uh, in by uh, in all the tissues except the brain gonads and spleen the resulting increase in heat production underlies the role of thyroid hormone in temperature regulation right then the effects on respiratory system and central uh, sorry cardiovascular system it increases the cardiac output it increases the ventilation uh, excess thyroid hormone can cause high output heart failure then the metabolic effects increase metabolism glycogenolysis gluconeogenesis glucose oxidation lipolysis protein synthesis and degradation all these metabolic uh, eff uh, effects um, all these um, uh, meta um, these uh, or steps are sorry uh, mechanisms are in uh, increased like uh, processes 
uh, sorry, not mechanisms, but the processes. Uh, that is the gluconeogenesis, glycogenolysis, lipolysis, glucose oxidation, protein synthesis, and degradation. All of these things are increased in case of uh, due to um, thyroid hormone. So, in case of hyperthyroidism, all these uh, actions, these uh, like effect on the CVS, effect on the respiratory system, effect on all other these processes and systems that will be increased. In case of hypothyroidism, the effect would be less. So accordingly, it would affect the organs. In case of hypothyroidism, affecting the organs, uh, and the in case of hyperthyroidism, affecting the organs like uh, more there will be more heat production. There will be more sweating. There will be um, uh, um, um, weight loss, there will be uh, tachycardia effect on the heart, there will be more cardiac output. Uh, so, uh, so uh, these will be the effect of hyperthyroidism. In case of hyperthyroidism, there will be bradycardia, there will be listlessness, slowed speech, uh, the person will be having uh, weight gain um, and all other factors as already discussed. I hope after discussing this topic in such detail, uh, there is no need of further uh, description. Um, and if you f just focus on uh, what I'm seeing and uh, in these diagrams, uh, this topic will be much easier for you now. Uh, Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe my channel um, for more videos. Like and share. Uh, and take care. See you with the next video.